And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world. Let's go. Cool. It's the That's Not Christian Dale, Podcast. Dale, dale. Let's go. I mean, Yo, maggots were cool with this Wall Street bailout, though, huh? Earlier this year, they, they weren't conservative at all, right? Like, bro, they, yo, maggots, they're cool with anything that serves their self interest. <laughs> that's, just, that's just what it is. It's like, oh, okay, so they say it's they both sides. Language, okay, where you like him, okay. Like, <laughs> that's what I leave it at. I'm like, oh y'all, oh y'all are those type of people. Okay, cool. Right. <laughs> Right. right, like they have their own code, right? Like their own kind of culture in a way. You know, I mean, I, it's obvious, you know, just from conversations with, with people I find uh, to be, you know, intelligent people. They're not they're, they're not concerned with their leadership's uh, level of uh, decorum or, or, or uh, etiquette. They care more about whether or not their self-interest is served. Mm. Right. So they don't they don't care. If somebody's a jerk saying it, you know what I'm saying? Mm, right. Like it's right. just like, yo, America wanted this jerk in here. So you're gonna get all the jerkness. And and <laughs> I'm cool with that as long as you give me what I'm looking for. Um, which is which is atypical, right? Because I used to always feel like like now America has this weird um, I want to say fetish with like um righteousness. Right. There's like, oh, we want our we want like now. Now it's like Joe Biden is the appointed nominee. Yes. The savior has arrived. Right. And I'm thinking to myself, do y'all see how y'all talk to each other every day? Do y'all read the comment sections on like any news website? Like y'all see how y'all deal with each other and y'all mad because the current president of the United States is a jerk. Like you, right. like you mad? Right. Like that's this what you see every day. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm sure you hear worse in New York traffic right now. Like <laughs> it's, it's, or California traffic. So it's like, oh, so so now we want a virtuous leader though. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, yeah. So I leave it where it is. I vote libertarian. Next. Mm, gang gang. <laughs> Another one. He's gang. <laughs> That's you, you see it? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, you know what's interesting? There was a MAGA that was shooting at Lecrae recently. Oh, oh. why are you Bryce shooting at Gray? Oh, why are you shooting yeah. at the goat? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> show me your right. hat, man. Show me your hat. <laughs> I know he got it on. Yeah. Oh, oh, all kinds of links in bio. Oh, man. <laughs> man. <laughs> Talk to me, Bryson. <laughs> um, yeah, I just thought it. I thought that was weird. Like people be weirdos, man. Like, <laughs> like I. That's all. Like I. I kind of was like. I mean, and we all privy to you know some of the the chat that we all in. Right. Like, I just think that's weirdo behavior. Like it's like, bro, why? Yeah. You know right. <laughs> like why? For are you guys that don't know, so what he uh, say, Bryson Gray. Uh, he's a who is he? Maga, MAGA rapper. Right, yeah, I don't yeah, know much about question. him. I don't really know much about him, to be honest. He see um, a change. He, he he blew up because of the whole MAGA thing, the red hat yeah, that's thing. Cool. That's, that's cool. like he's yeah. he's he's kind of like a novelty rapper right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for CHH or no? No, it's MHH, nah, he's not, bro. He's not in MAGA hip hop. MAGA hip hop. MAGA hip hop. They got the old. They can over from the nine nine to two thousands. Yeah, yeah. Nerd. Yeah, well, he was he was dissing for y'all don't know out there. He was dissing Lecrae. He said Lecrae's a, fake, a fake Christian. Christian. Yeah. Fake Christian, man. Yeah, cause he cause he uh, support Democrats, but don't say nothing when the gays kissing. All right. Like right. I was like, <laughs> I was like, what? Like that's that's what make you a fake. Right, right. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, like, he said, he said, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yo, but you know what's what's crazy about that that comment, that bar, that statement is that like Trump and everybody in his administration have been saying that he's the most pro LGBT president in history. Okay. Where's the bar for that though? You know, your president didn't say nothing nothing about that. Like, mm. how come he's not a fake Christian? No. I mean, I don't yeah, know I if many people are sitting up here thinking he's a Christian at all. 
I think, you know what I'm saying? I think, I think what's happening is Christians are trying to align their belief system with their ideology right. as opposed to the other way around. Like, and so like, I don't know anybody. I, it's crazy. Like I'd be sitting up here talking to, to believers or, or declare believers in the faith. Right. And I'm always like, you know, you think, you think he a Christian for real though? Like, right. and they don't know. And it's like, oh, but you, oh, you banging your set hard though. You know what I'm saying? Like it's mag over on this block. And I'm like, so, so you written in the rock with somebody who calls some two Corinthians? Like it's like, <laughs> it's like two Corinthians. I just commented that. <laughs> yeah, we just talking about it. It's like, yo, and Paula White out here, the angels from Africa are coming. <laughs> Yeah, like, I see Marcus hey. Rogers defending that. I'm like, how do you defend that? <laughs> listen, I don't listen. I, I'm gonna be honest. I can't speak on that. I don't know that man. So like, I, God bless him, man. Amen. I just be trying to stay out of the way on some of this stuff. I'm like, I yeah. speak when I sign. I, I, I heard you. Um, I heard you on. Uh, was it a- Evolution? Yeah, on the, on the mixtape. You had you had touched on some. Uh, some topics, yeah. some political topics. Yeah. That's one of my favorite joints because it was yeah. so balanced. And it's like you was kind of pointing fingers at both of them. Like, y'all, oh, yeah. what like, y'all doing? Yeah, I got a I got a I got a clip for both sides, man. Like, <laughs> like, but I think I think I've always been consistent like that in my career, though. Like, I feel like I've challenged the church, I've challenged mm-hmm. the world like consistently. So, like to me, they can't say I'm picking sides. You know what I'm saying? Like. If if when people was down talking Obama, I came into church, I was like, oh, y'all not praying for him? Mm, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. and when you know, Trump now, Trump ain't even sitting. You got you got every black pastor in in Eastern America got their hands on Trump's shoulder praying over him. It's like, right. oh word. Mm, so this what y'all right. on? Right. Like, right. so for me, I'm just like, oh, okay, let me let me address these blind spots in the room. Mm-hmm. Cause obviously y'all, y'all not checking them. So like Reagan or Clinton speech, keep it G. They always clapping. They don't. It don't right. matter who it is. Mm-hmm. Like, like so for me, I just I find peace in knowing that a lot of the perspective I have is balanced. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. It's like yo, y'all, y'all could. I salute Trump if he do something that's noble or commendable. I salute. You know what I'm saying? I salute Biden for the same reason. You know what I'm saying? It's like to me when we get uh, catty and petty is when we start thinking that like on the people that are anti-Trump will say, what did Trump do for anybody? You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, well, I'm pretty sure you could ask a lot of people and they would say right. that these kinds of things for them. Right. Right. And then like, you know what I'm saying? You got people that, you know, voted Biden in and they're like, yeah, we got Trump out. And I'm thinking, now what? <laughs> what did you bring in though? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you cool with that? Like, all right, cool. I mean, that dude been there for 40 plus years. Like, and and now you want him to be the president, though. Like, so my thing is like that binary political system, man, they could throw all that in the garbage from my concern, man. So mm-hmm. um it's it's time for some new blood, but you know that's not gonna happen. Absolutely. Because the current system is voting to keep itself around. You know what I'm saying? Like right. it's like what Trump Trump is actually a candidate, like one of the first candidates I've ever seen say. He thinks that Congress should have term limits. Mm. Imagine that. Right. Like, that would imagine, be good. Like, the dude people yeah. want like out of there. It's like, yo, y'all mad at me. I've been here for four years. Right. Like, look at them. They've been here for 40 years. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I like that he called yeah. out Biden on his like 40 plus years because it really puts things into perspective. You know, yeah. like, what has this man done in this time? What did he do during the Obama administration? You know? And not to say I expected him to do anything during the Obama administration because he was just a VP. You know what I'm saying? Like, but his congressional record, though, like before you were the VP, like you were a senator, though. And and I'm sitting up here like, okay, so what was your record then? Like, Mm -hmm. like, let's talk about that. Like, because because right now, you know, when you're the VP, you just presidential support supposedly you know what i'm saying right. like so it's not like you writing bills yourself or proposing bills but let's let's go back 12 years ago who was mm-hmm. joe biden then you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying like who was he then and if you can't say you know then what difference do you expect now right 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, that's all. Like, I leave it there. Like, I, I mean, my life going to be straight either way. Um, right. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of people that wanted to vote Trump out instead of vote Biden in. It's like, what's and that? Then, yeah. Mi- yeah. Come on, 72 million. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, well, allegedly. Like, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. Like, right. We're, so, like, <laughs> we're still waiting on the verdict. We're still waiting on the verdict for that. We're still waiting, we're still waiting oh, no. on uh, I mean, electoral I've said college and all that. You know? Yo, I've said this already. Like, in order for American democracy to pre- preserve itself, they cannot let this election be overturned, though. No, you know what I'm saying like they can't now. Now, from the side of truth, you know, and integrity, yeah, you would be like, nah, they should overturn it if it's real. But you got to understand how that looks in uh, the eyes of foreign nations. You got to mm-hmm. understand what that looks like to our enemies. It's like, oh, y'all don't even have stability in your nation right mm-hmm. now. You know what I'm saying? Also, right. oh, yeah. So uh, now we get to form our alliances. You know what I'm saying? Long as we pay the tax, we keep mm-hmm. doing business over there with y'all because y'all don't even know who y'all leader is like so <laughs> to me i feel like the people that's in charge is gonna be like yeah we got enough evidence to say biden stole but we got millions of people that definitely feel like they they voted and their vote counted right, right. Mm-hmm. like and if you want to strip them of that then you probably effectively eliminate the voting populace of like a large portion of this country if you just say Oh yeah, guys. Uh, so those votes that you think you had, yeah, they don't they don't count because somebody used the computer and faked a lot of them. You know what I'm <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like, nah, yeah, your yeah. votes don't count no more. So uh, yeah, it's Trump again. Just just well, get I rid- mean, like- according to Bryson, right? I I, be, uh, I went back because I, I heard the song and I'm like, all right, let me check this dude out. Right? He got me. You know what I'm saying? He got me with with that inch, with him dissing Lecrae. I was like, all right, what's this dude about? <laughs> Next thing you know, the next video after MAGA is forever. <laughs> with a Z, MAGA's with a Z, right? Uh, nah, it's just MAGA is forever. So I'm a, I was kind of surprised right? by that, man. I, I I don't know how that is entertain. You know what I mean? Like how well, he had a MAGA hat. MAGA. He had a MAGA hat and the Lecrae this. Yeah, he had a MAGA Kango hat though. He had a whole oh yeah, he got the official hat. joint. Yeah, he had the whole MAGA Kango and the young dudes. Was was next to him, and I was like, "What are y'all doing here?" <laughs> he got another joint that's like a Yosemite Sam type of joint, like oh, nah. huge bucket hat, like huge, <laughs> wow, caricature huge. type. Yeah, keep y'all, keep people name, keep that man name off of y'all minds, man. Like I don't understand it. Like if if Lecrae wasn't ordained to be here, man, I, I just don't think he'd be swimming this long at the top of the pool. Right. right. Like, I mean, he may make faulty decisions. He may be shaky at times, but it's like, y'all ain't nothing y'all could do to knock him off, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's still here. So you got to start wondering, like, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, why is he still here? Why is it with all the hate and the vitriol, he's still in this spot? And so, like, I genuinely feel like Lecrae was called to a place. I feel like sometimes he makes some decisions that make people question his motives. But I do believe that Lecrae loves the Lord, though. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. I, I don't, I don't, Amen. I think he's trying to navigate how to be somebody who loves the Lord in a world that, that doesn't he opened up. Well, not nah, it ain't even just that don't, it's like he opened that up. Like he was like, I'm a rapper who's Christian, not a Christian rapper. Like he created the dividing line. He created the rules where there were none. And right. then he kind of had to like navigate how to communicate that to right. the people that helped build his platform, but also reach the people that didn't even know he was a Christian rapper. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, so he has, he's had to juggle that. And un- honestly, if I had my assessment, I came into the game late on Cray. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, I came in in 2015. Lecrae was already Lecrae. Lecrae already was multi Grammy winning Lecrae. So I felt it was kind of odd because I didn't feel like he had to do what he did. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, I mean, your platform's growing. You want to meet other people, just go meet other people. You know what I'm right, saying? Like right. when you start creating the distance between where you are to where you're going, what it feels like is, old boy left his old friends back in school because he thought he was going to get to the cool table. And when he got there, he realized he wasn't the cool kid. Yeah, no more. Right. And right. then it was like, it was like, nah, you, you still ain't cool. Oh, he didn't like, oh, he didn't like, the, 
or he didn't like the cool kids. He got around him or, and was like, oh, I don't like. I don't. <laughs> or, or, yeah, like it's like he grad. You know how you get that like social hierarchy, right? You grad, you the eighth grader in middle school, like you the top of the class, right? And then you yeah. go to high school and you back on the bottom again. Like yeah. so, so I think like Lecrae became like student body president in middle school, <laughs> and then he hopped over to the high school class, and they was like. Who are Yo, you? you a freshman over here, dog. Right. Like, who are you right now? <laughs> like, yeah. I'll give you a swirly right now. Like, and he, was like, <laughs> he was like, nah, I like my old friends. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. So, so now is that period of transition. And this ain't even me trying to clown them because I feel like there are people who've done it effectively. Like, they just never really, they never really claimed it to begin with. So they got a chance mm. to move however they felt like moving. Like, like right. Toby got to move how he felt like moving because he right. never claimed it. He just was. Right. And then, like, Craig was like, and Craig was on the shame. I'm a Christian. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, hey, yeah, if, yeah. If, if, you rap, if you rap on producers that's not Christian, like, then you, I'm like, oh, so you was the ops. Right. And yeah. then, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, now, like, when you getting over there, like, you don't even want to tell people you know people you know what I'm saying? Like, and that was that was like, kind of like the standard that he set. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, you're not supposed right. to rap over secular beats, and now you're hanging out with secular artists. The same fans that that supported you are not calling you out on the same thing. Yeah, and so I think I just think he never fully fleshed out what he was trying to do. Right, right, mm -hmm. and and that sometimes happens when you jump into something and you don't really think about it. Like, and then they get in, you get in, and it's hot. It's like, oh, oh, I, maybe I should have. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I should have took this jacket off before I hopped in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know. And I feel like he just didn't know. And yeah. so, like, he thought he understood, which is kind of like, you see it all the time, right? Um, I had a homie, uh, Pastor Vic in New Jersey said he used to be, uh, he used to be formerly in the streets. And then right. um, when he got saved, he kept going back to the trap house thinking, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was going to be able to preach to the people that he used to bag up with. And they was like, yo, like, what are you doing here? Like, get out, like, go home, you know what I'm saying? Like, and sometimes we get dudes that be saved and they be like, oh man, I want to give you Jesus, you know what I'm saying? To the people that they left behind. And that world over there is like, yo, we don't want him though. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't want him. So, so whatever you think you finna do, it's not right. gonna work, you know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah. he realized that and was like, dang. Man, maybe I didn't have to do all of that. Like, and I think that's where he's at right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. We had View Beats on uh just a few, was it two weeks ago? Two. Just about two ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. And he was talking about a lot of the like Satanism and voodoo that goes on like in the studio. So I could imagine Craig coming up there trying to change the atmosphere. Those gonna be like, man, get out of here. Straight up. Messing up the mm -hmm. seance and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, go back to go back to your JV team. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> this is like, Marcy hey, man, over here. That Ouija. Yeah, man, we got Ouija boards over here. Get that cross out of here. It's interesting because um, aside from Bryson's uh, comments in his in his in his song, um, there's a lot of people that feel similar to him. Like Lecrae's fake. Lecrae's got one foot in, one foot out. Lecrae's not. Yeah, they they I don't know. It's like they they feel like he like you said like he just abandoned the faith kind of thing, and I don't I don't I don't see that correlation. I don't know how that how that works. Yeah, I don't get the abandoning the faith thing at all. Like the best correlation I used to think of is like you know how you was in a relationship with a girl for a long time, and you like brought her around the family and all that. And then, um, you know, so your mama loved her and they, like your family embraced her. Mm -hmm. And then like you was kind of thinking, um, so yeah, I'm a, um, yeah, she and I, we just, we not that no more. And then right. your mom be still like wanting her to come over when like birthday parties happen and stuff like that. So like Lecrae has become kind of like, <laughs> he's kind of become like the, um, he, he, he built this relationship and this rapport and he got his family exposed to something. And now he was trying to like, with these features and these collabs, he's like, hey guys, this is my new girlfriend. Like, <laughs> and the Christian community was like, nah. Who? <laughs> right, right. We like the old one. We want the old girlfriend. Like, yeah. where you, where you old? We like you know, the old Kanye, right? 
Yeah. yeah, and he and he was just like, "Oh, I thought y'all would like this." Like, I I I, I never want to like, cause me and my wife in therapy, so like, I never want to make the negative assumption, right? Because some we do that a lot, and that's what mm -hmm. assuming Lecrae is a fake Christian is. Like, you don't know. Like, there's no right. you can't prove that. But what happens is because you have like little metrics in your mind about what are like ineffective personality types, ineffective uh, behaviors that people exude, you start to tell in your mind like, oh, he means to deceive people. Mm. And like, I'm like, I don't know if the goal is for him to deceive people. I just think he thinks he's doing the right thing. But meaning well and doing well are not always the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, and right. mad people do things that they think is the right thing and it turned out to be goofy and destructive. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, you didn't, you didn't mean for it to hurt nobody's feelings. And I think that's what happened. I don't think he meant, like, oh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make these Christians mad. Yeah. Like, but, <laughs> but I do feel like when he started to make them mad, he also didn't handle it with grace. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. So when people was like, Craig, you doing this, he started rapping about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember he, he said that? He said he was kind of bitter when he said, like, y'all say I don't say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus? Yeah, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And, and he had to apologize about that. Oh, like, it, it's like, I feel, but I feel like those are the natural stages of like what, what can happen if people un misunderstand your motives. If you intend them to be uh, purely intended and then people just are intent on finding the wrongdoing in what you do. Like, yeah. I feel like eventually you're going to be like, nah, that's not what it is. And they're going to keep saying, yes, it is. Yes, it is. And you're going to be like, hey, bro, hey, we 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 could run the fade out back. You know, <laughs> like, like I said, but I said, like I told you it wasn't that. Like, right. but if you're going to keep on pressing my line, like, yeah, we're yeah, we going to have a talk. Like, it's, it's you're not going to keep telling me what I'm doing if I know that's not what I'm doing. And I feel right. like that's what happened.